In an emergency, you need help fast, but if you think your smartphone can automatically tell 911 your location like it can for Facebook and Uber and other apps, think again. This week, CARE 11 and Gannett newspapers and TV stations all across the country have been investigating a fatal flaw in 911. AJ Legault has new details about how you could be lost on the line. 911, what is the address of your emergency? I'm in a car in a lake. It's the 911 tragedy in Georgia that has the nation asking why. Why, when apps on our smartphones can tell us exactly where we are. Siri, what's my location? You're on 8811 Highway 55, Golden Valley, Minnesota. Why don't they automatically give the same information to 911 when lives are on the line? She's in a lake and her doors won't open. We first told you the story Sunday night. Chanel Anderson slides off the road into a pond. She calls 911 on her cell phone, Where? but it doesn't give rescuers her location. Give me the address one more time. It's not working. Chanel's mother. And for them still not to be able to locate her is insane. Since then, 911's fatal flaw has been headline news, even on national TV. Some experts call this a public safety crisis. And with more and more people using cell phones, it's become a huge problem. In Minnesota alone, last year, the state says there were 1.2 million emergency calls where the first location 911 got was the cell tower not the phone itself. When we made a test call to 911 from inside the 911 center in St. Paul, it put us nearly a mile away. I don't know where you are. And our sister Gannett TV stations all across the country have been documenting the same problem near Washington, D.C. That's all I'm getting. So operator, we're four minutes into this call and you have no way of telling where I am, is that correct? That's the address of the emergency. In Charlotte, North Carolina, and it's showing 282 West Church Street. So that's nearby, but that is not our location. No. And on our Facebook page, you've been sharing real life examples here. Alyssa telling how in my county, cell phone calls sometimes go to other counties. And Tammy says she was in Forest Lake, Minnesota, but her 911 call went to St. Croix County in Wisconsin. Why? A tower's radius, radius could be miles. The chief of public safety for the FCC says calls for help can get routed to the wrong 911 center because that may be where the cell phone tower is. That was part of the problem in Georgia. Even when the woman in the sinking car told 911 the address, <laughs> dispatchers didn't recognize it because it wasn't in their area. You can't find the address? No, we've we're, we're got everybody out there looking for it. And imagine if you don't even know where you are like Denise Lee in Florida, kidnapped, calling from a car. What's the address that you're at? <laughs> or Carol Olette in Colorado, choking, unable to speak clearly. Help me, 25. I, I hear 25, but I don't know where you are. Both women died before rescuers found them. The Federal Communication Commission is ordering cell phone companies to fix the problem. Accurate locations for 40% of cell phone calls to 911 in two years and 80% within six years. But that would still mean operators wouldn't know where to send help in one out of five cases, leaving a grieving mother to ask a simple question. Why is it more important for a 99 cent app to know where we are than the 911 operator who answers the call. Great question, right? The FCC has pledged to help developers come up with a single approved nationwide app for 911, but that could also be years away. And by the way, we've been using of examples from other states because Minnesota is one of just a handful of states that refuses to make audio from 911 calls public. Hmm. So that's really frustrating, and I can't imagine how heartbreaking for those families. Absolutely. So, yeah. what are you supposed to do? Well, the answer here is really pay attention to where you are. Don't assume that 911 already knows, and that's why 911 operators always ask, where is the emergency? Oh, great information. Thank you, AJ. Thank you, AJ.